In my experience, there are two ways to become a dreaded warrior. The first way is the virtuous path of trial. You must gain experience in countless battles, work on your technique, and improve upon all of your skills. You must understand the essence of fighting better than anyone else. You must never give up. Every detail must be important to you. Then, after a long and agonizing period of humiliation and defeat, you'll become a reasonable warrior. And right. the other way? You need invincible kit. If your okay. weapons and armor are better than everyone else's, it doesn't matter if you're a useless warrior. Your <laughs> kit does the work for you. That, uh, that might be just the thing for me. I'll get myself some invincible kit, save the little guy, and become the hero of the hour. Sounds like a way to do it. So, uh, tell me now, where is there an unbeatable warrior set around here? I think there may be a legendary warrior set somewhere near here. What makes you think that? Oh, just an idea. <laughs> it's true. There is a powerful and famous set close by. But how did you know? Game logic. Does it maybe consist of several components that are distributed around this area? And there's a whole series of rip your hair out, tedious tasks to complete to get each part? <laughs> Indeed. They wow. are the helmet, the shield, and the sword of power. But how? Well then, what do I have to do for you, for you to help me? Well, um, you... you could help me with my body. What's missing? Um, well, I need a lung. And? Uh, a heart. And the third thing? Um, everything needs to be powered up. A, a bolt of lightning that will breathe life back into my body. Great. Uh-huh. If you help me, I'll tell you where the sword of power is kept. And perhaps the others know where the helmet and shield are. I'll put money on that. Ah, you're not much fun, are you? I thought I was kind of fun. So, uh... Where am I supposed to get that heart from? So, where am I going to get a heart from around here? Hmm. You could give me yours. Uh, Great no. idea. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Are you sure you need a lung? So, what's a lung supposed to be doing in a machine? What do you think? It supplies the body with oxygen. And what do you need oxygen for? Energy is produced from sugar in the mitochondria, the cell's power stations, with the help of oxygen. Okay. The vital organs need this energy, particularly the brain. You're a skull. You haven't got a brain. You exist totally without blood, oxygen, sugar, and all that other stuff. <laughs> in my construction manual, it clearly states that a human cannot live without lungs. You mean the cornflakes pack with the kids special? You <laughs> and your body. Five ways to proper nutrition. Look. I've only got wow. one chance, and I want to get it right. So bring me a lung. Okay. Guess we'll do that. I gotta get on. I've gotta get going. Breathe. Feel my heartbeat. That sort of thing. Ah, don't let me stop you. All right. Let's talk to this zombie over here. Maybe uh, he'll know hey, boss. how to find something. Ah, the living one. So, the orcs uh, kind of treat my friend as if he's a piglet. The orcs have made my friend a prize in one of their stupid warrior contests. You don't happen to know any warriors, do you? I don't know anything about fighting. I used to be a juggler, a harlequin. Ask Gulliver, he's well-traveled. Uh, Gulliver told me about a warrior set. Do you know anything about it? Do you know anything about a warrior set that's supposed to be hidden near here? Yes, I do. It belonged to a traveling knight who died near here about a year ago. And I also know who has his helmet. Who? Really? And I should tell you, of all people, you deceived your friends. Maybe you want to take off with the helmet. I want to free Wilbur. Huh. You've probably never done anything selfless in your life. But now I'm going to do something. Prove to me that you can be selfless. Make the paladin forgive me so that this pillory disappears. But that wouldn't be very selfless of me. I'd only be helping you so that you'd help me. I'd be prepared to ignore that. After all, this is about character building. <laughs> all right, then. Uh, the way it looks, the paladin's never going to forgive you. I've had a word with the paladin, and it looks like he's never going to forgive you. I didn't expect it to be easy. Honestly, me neither. What should I do? Come up with something. 
I have to hear him say, I forgive you. Only then will the pillory open. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, well, goodbye. Better get going. See ya. Take care, and remember, we, the undead, are your friends. Rancid smelling, dead friends. Sure. Let's see if that uh, watery corpse knows anything about what we're looking for. Well, how you doing? <laughs> wow, dual crying. Awesome. So Gulliver told me about a uh, warrior set. Do you know anything about it? While you were doing all this mourning, did maybe a warrior set come your way? A what? You know, sword, shield, helmet. I have seen a shield. Do you know where it is? My Maximilian had a shield as well. A large, shiny one, decorated with feathers of a... Hello! Let's stick with the subject. Where's the shield? Why should I help you? You are uncouth and brutal. You are always poking fun at my suffering. Please, no. As long as I am suffering, no one else may be happy. Wow. And your misery will only end when you receive a message from your intended? That is so. Hmm. Well, that gives me an idea. I need to get on. As much as I'd love to spend more time with you, I have to get going. So, I've got a piece of paper here, got a feather, and I've got some ink. Is that enough to write a letter with? Then we should send the Jilted Maiden a nice love letter. Yes. Right. Let's do it. Dearest Cream Bun, Highborn Miss, or High Baby Doll? Obviously, Dearest Cream Bun. Dearest Cream Bun. <laughs> it is I, your... Maxi Poo. I'm sorry I disappeared so suddenly. The problem was. Uh, the Russians, the voices, all those terrible, terrible voices. Neither your dubious looks nor your poor character. Now we'll go with the Russians. The Russians. <laughs> I wanted to give you a wedding fit for a queen. But then... I uh, came down to a series of unpredictable contingent accumulations. Somehow forgotten it. Ooh, that would be bad. Fate kicked in in a brutal fashion. I think I'll go with the unpredictable contingent accumulations. It came down to a series of improper contingent accumulations. On the quest for a silver flower pearl for your wedding ring, I found myself in the southern ocean off the coast of Switzerland. When a storm arose, my vessel foundered and I awoke three days later. In a small saucepan with chives and thyme. <laughs> Uh, with considerable headaches and a strange taste on the tongue. Deep under the ocean as a living water corpse. That sounds good. I'll go with that. Deep under the ocean as a living, watery corpse. I've overcome many dangers and experienced some great adventures. Driven by my insatiable longing for you. But I cannot come to you because... Can't find the way, and I don't want to ask. <laughs> uh, a malign curse binds me to these waters. Um, there are problems with my student visa. <laughs> we'll go with the curse. A, mal a malign curse binds me to these waters. I'm writing this letter in all urgency. Make haste to me, my love, wherever you may be. I'm waiting for you in the south, deep in the south, exactly here. <laughs> what a masterpiece. Ah, there's something missing. Don't hesitate to help 
others before your departure. <laughs> kissy, kissy, your Maximilian. Wow, perfect. Well, that's certainly a way to write a letter. All right, now he's got a signet ring. I bet you with that wax out there, I could make something nice. Let's give it a shot. If I could do it. Ah, there we go. Good. Now the letter's got a decent blob of wax on it. Sweet. And now, with that signet ring, I should be able to make something that would be somewhat believable. Let's give it a shot. Let's see just how good the stonemason's work was. Hmm, looks pretty good. I'm guessing that looking through a blur of tears, you wouldn't notice anything odd. Eh, she's probably dumb enough to accept this, right? Right. You're not going to believe this. Look what I found outside. It's what you've been waiting for all this time. A letter from Maximilian. Really? Oh, yes. There's even a seal. Maybe you recognize it. That's it. That's his seal. The illegible <laughs> handwriting. All the spelling mistakes. <laughs> this letter really is from him. Wow. Um, what's he say then? There, there, there was a storm and he, he wanted to come back to me, but he can't. Ah, you see, that explains everything. Yeah. I have to go to him. Oh, deep joy. Um, what about the shield? Oh, yes. The fat ogres carried it away. They live in a cave nearby. Thanks, and good luck with the search. But always remember, the journey is the destination. A what now? Okay, well, that works out. Hold on, what was that? piece of clothing. Hmm, there's a piece of clothing hanging out of the sarcophagus. Looks like leather. Ooh, I need that. I hope there's no one hanging on to it. Eh, it's probably not likely, hopefully. Now, I should be able to glue this thing together right. since I've got some I'll clothing. smear the edge of the hole with glue. Just missing a patch now. Nope, I got that patch. That ought to do it. I'll use a piece of leather to seal the hole. Perfect! The bellows are usable again. Alright. I wonder if the zombie out there would accept that as a lung. Alright, let's double check to make sure there's nothing else in here since I missed that by accident. Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's get back out of here. Let's see if he likes this. Hey Gulliver! Time to take a deep breath. Nice. Simply fantastic. I'll be able to run marathons with this lung. Yeah, Thanks. if you can call it that. Now I just need a heart. Hmm. Yeah. All right, well, let's go talk to that paladin. Maybe we can talk him into forgiving this guy somehow. Hello, princess. <laughs> yes. So, uh, could I take that zombie head with me? So, I can't have the zombie's head then? Of course not. It's a hard won trophy. I bashed at the beast for more than a quarter of an hour before I finally defeated it. I didn't defend myself at all. <laughs> Silence! I caused you damage. Lots of damage. Well, there's nothing new here, so I gotta get going. Have to go. Man stuff to do. Ha ha. Maybe the zombie head can tell me something. Hey, Esther. Sup? That you, Esther? Mm-hmm. I've just met your body. It's doing okay, apart from missing its head. <laughs> I miss her. I would love to write, but no hands. <gasps> Shh! Quiet over there! Oh. <laughs> Come on, you can tell me something, Esther. Hello. Woohoo! 
<laughs> I just wanted to... Hey! I said no talking to the prisoner. Oh. Well, that's not helpful. Maybe that bull can help me. Sup. Yoo-hoo! I hear you. A lot of people like to say yoo -hoo around here. So, uh, do you have any idea how I might be able to get into the orc camp? You'll definitely have some smart idea for how I can get into that orc camp out there. Physically, I mean, not, uh, spiritually or whatever. Thanks for your help. <laughs> so, how can you get a paladin to forgive someone against his own will? There's this paladin and a... A tormented soul who he won't forgive. Isn't there any way to force the paladin to forgive him? Forgiveness should come from the heart and not be forced. So, uh, it might end up in bloodshed if we don't intervene. If we don't step in, he's going to injure somebody or kill them. He's already taken one head off. Next time, somebody could get seriously hurt. That is unfortunate, but perhaps he is in the right. Yeah, I don't I think so. I cannot and will not decide this. Well, the paladin likes to eat minced meat. The paladin is stupid and mean too. And he <laughs> likes eating ground beef. It is not up to me to punish bad people. Uh, my friend absolutely regrets what he did, but the paladin won't hear any of it. But if the paladin won't listen even once, my friend really regrets what he did. He wants to ask for forgiveness, but he can't get a hearing. This is not good. Everyone deserves a chance at inner peace. And the paladin will not be spoken to? No chance. Hmm. Then we will have to make him listen. How? With a voodoo doll or something? Voodoo? That is lazy magic. <laughs> no, I will brew a sleepwalking potion. If what? you drink from it first, and then the paladin drinks, you can take over his body for a short time. You can make him walk to your friend, and then he can hear his apology. Works for Sounds me. like voodoo. It is not voodoo. <laughs> for the potion, I need some strands of the paladin's hair, a sample of his bodily fluid, something from his forefathers, and a piece of his clothing. Hmm. Uh... But I don't need a doll, and I don't need pins. <laughs> okay, then. If I get the things together, will you brew me the potion? It shall be so. 